Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Des. I make lifestyle videos, vlogs, beauty videos, and just a little bit of something for everybody. So if you're interested in that, also if you're interested in mom life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn the notification bell on so that you're notified every time we upload a video. Today we are doing vlogtober day three so we will be uploading new videos every day in the month of october um also if you look down below there's going to be a link to our bonfire campaign all the profits made from those shirts will go to thorn who is helping um end child sex abuse and child trafficking on the internet and so on they're a really great company and they're doing great things so if you want to check those designs out i did design them myself and they're down below just go ahead and purchase one and know that your money is going towards a great cause for vlogtober day three i'm going to be making some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies they're going to be vegan and they're going to be super simple and super budget friendly so i'm going to go ahead show you the ingredients and then we're just going to go ahead and get started and start making the cookies so the first ingredient that you're going to need is some sort of flour i just got this all-purpose flour because it was the cheapest one i got some baking powder this is just the store brand baking powder got some bumping puree this is going to work as your like egg to help everything stick together you're going to need some sort of vegan butter and then some nutmeg and some cinnamon um, you can also get the pumpkin pie seasoning but uh, this is what I found and it was cheaper this way. I also got some allergy free vegan chocolate chips these are open because I wanted some chocolate and then the last thing that you're going to need is some sort of sugar um, I'm just gonna be using like some stevia and I have that so I don't need to buy anymore so these are pretty much the only ingredients you're going to need. You can add eggs. Oh, also I forgot you're going to need some sort of dairy-free milk just to help everything mix together and be easier to kind of work with. Um, but other than that, you don't need anything else. You can add eggs if you feel like you want to add eggs. You can add everything. You can also make these non-vegan if you're not feeling trying some vegan cookies, although they are delicious just the way that I'm going to show you how to make them. But yeah, you can also make them gluten free, like I said, if that's something that you need to do. And that's pretty much it. So now we're going to get into the actual baking of the cookies and the mixing and all that stuff. start by adding two and a half cups of flour into my mixing bowl and preheating my oven to 450. Next up, we're going to eyeball some nutmeg and cinnamon in there. We can add more as the recipe goes on, but right now we're just going to add a little bit so it's not too overpowering. And moving on to vegan butter, I'm going to add that to my measuring cup and I'm just going to put that into the microwave. I'm going to use about two big spoonfuls of it and just pop it into the microwave for about a minute so it gets all melted and then add it to our dry ingredients. And then we're going to add this whole can of pumpkin puree into our dry ingredients. So you can use half the can or the whole thing. Like I said, I'm using the whole can. I'm going to pour myself about one cup of my dairy-free milk. I'm just using the oat milk. I'm not going to use the whole cup. I'm just going to add about half and then add a little bit more if my mixture is still too dry. 
After that, I'm going to add about half the bag of the chocolate chips just so that I have extras to put on top of the cookies. And then we're just going to start mixing. Here is where I realized that my mixture is a little bit too dry, so I added about a quarter of what was left of the milk. And then this next clip will show you what the finished product should look like. And then I'm going to put that in the fridge to chill while I clean up and grease my pans. So after about 10 minutes of chilling in the fridge, you're going to take out your cookie butter, put it into your molds. If you're using a cookie sheet, it's best to use a spoon or an ice cream scoop just to get the shape right. After it's all put in evenly, you can add more chocolate chips and then go ahead and pop it into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, checking periodically to know that they're done and cooked all the way through. The only thing that should be coming up on your fork, as you will see in the next couple clips, is just the melted chocolate chips. There shouldn't be any more cookie batter showing up. Um, so you'll be able to tell once it's ready. So once you've pulled them out of the oven, you're free to plate them or serve them but you do want to set them aside to cool for about five to ten minutes and then you can add dairy-free whipped cream which makes it taste like a little pumpkin pie or just serve them plain they are best served warm so every time you go to eat one make sure you pop it in the microwave for about 15 seconds that's gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed this recipe make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more videos like these also hit the post notification bell to be notified every time we post we'll be posting a new video every day in October so I'll see you guys throughout the month and also don't forget to check out our merch for Thorn to help a great organization and a great cause and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.